Hey, what's happening everyone? Hal here, coming back with another episode of Life is Strange. We're in the art gallery and uh, just going to have a wander around now, see what this is all about. Be cool, Max. Smile and don't say anything stupid. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. The Zeitgeist Gallery does have a cool history in Frisco. Uh, I mean, San Francisco. I need to drop some serious cash in there. Danny Lee article. Golden Gate Reporter. I left my art in San Francisco by Daniel Lee. Yes, I was born on a BART train, literally. It's a long, amazing story that I won't repeat here. Drinks are required for that one. Here's to mum. That might explain my obsession, obsessive love for the Bay Area and its outposts of artists and dissidents. Despite the rampant uh, gentrification, artists and creators thrive regardless of social socio-economic pressures because that's what they do. Galleries such as the Zeitgeist and the Milkovich fashion have engaged with the diverse community and practiced what some patrons only preach. Okay. I love how much cool art is going on all over the Bay Area. Unlike Arcadia Bay, some mysteries should stay that way. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. The revolution will not be televised. Oh, how fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. Holy shit, this flyer was designed just for Chloe. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. But what would I wear? There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. Gonna read that. <laughs> it's great to read all these comments, even the mean ones. So inspiring, not as good as last year's show. Totally makes me want to start taking photos. Future photography starts here. These heroes chose the path of least regret. A great example of total surveillance. <laughs> uh, their 50 minutes are almost up. Thanks. This is so nice. Inspiring stuff. Look at this print. The depth of field, the colors, look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35mm lens. You can definitely find out those details. The story of a photo, if you know how to look at all the details of a picture. Oh, this is so interesting, Matthew. I didn't think you knew about all this. When I was younger, I did a lot of photography <laughs> studies. Didn't I tell you about it, Emma? I was quite good at it, actually, but I decided to drop photography to do a real paying job. Anyway... <laughs> this looks like a photo op, yes. These people are okay with her just taking pictures of, of them. <laughs> it's like she didn't even move or flinch or anything. I'm sure in today's society, if someone did that, she would have turned around and gone, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> hmm, that looks familiar. This might be too meta metaphoric. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Oh. Statues. Oh, but. 
Imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. Hmm. It's like the Ministry for Silly Walks. That one is kind of silly. I would love to have this on a shelf. Someday. I do not understand art. <laughs> That's what I'm like when I go to these places. It's nice, but I don't get it. <laughs> it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. Nostalgic melancholy. A Who teenage the girl. Artist? I think it's for some contest. That's cool. Seems pretty mature. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects to focus. Oh, very smart. You know, I have no idea what they're talking about. I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. How did these galleries afford to rent here? Oh, it's big money. I wonder if I can... Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. God, I love art. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. Why don't any of these people actually that turn to talk different. to him? Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Makes me want to go buy an instant camera. Damn, I bet that. Hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. For a second, You're I'm okay. Uh, jet lag, high altitude. No. Uh. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on, please answer. What? Oh no, Chloe, where are you? Chloe, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There mm. has to be a way to stop this. For good. Take a look at your picture and... Reverse that. Alright, I didn't actually finish. I hadn't actually finished walking around and checking everything. I probably can't talk to anybody now. No, can't even talk no to her. fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. Looking for a camera because it says, Oh, hold on. What have we got here? Can't believe I was able to focus and rewind into my selfie all the way back to art class on Monday. Turned in my photo for the contest after I sent a text to David warning him about Jefferson. Phew. The only reason I haven't had a total meltdown is the fact that I do have this incredible power. I have to use it right for once and maybe never again. 
It was weird to be in class with Jefferson, like I wasn't just tortured by him in an underground bunker. I saw him for the first time as he is, a creepy, manipulative psychopath, filled with bullshit. He uses art and passion to seduce people, but behind that there's nothing but hate and perversion. I only pray that I can fix this timeline, not fuck it up. Max to the future. Feels like I finally made things right. Chloe's alive. David Madsen became a real everyday hero by busting Jefferson and his dark room, along with Nathan and his father. The Prescotts have lost control of Arcadia Bay. Now I'm the official everyday hero on my way to San Francisco with Principal Wells, who is a lot more funny and laid back when he's not stressing about Blackwell Academy. It's hard for me to total relax, totally relax, but all those pieces of time seem to be falling into place. Uh, let's look at these messages. Whoa. <laughs> uh, ten, 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 ten. It's probably all of this. That can't be. Hold on. Ten, ten, do I get this shit? It's actually probably all different. Probably is worth checking it all out. Uh, Max, you there? Hello, what's going on? You okay? Crazy shit is going down. Step soldier called the cops and took off. He had his gun. That is crazy. Especially after hooking up with you again and that snow today. Everything is going to be okay. We're together again. Insert insult here. Human emoji. Text me back when you hear anything. On it. Good morning. Your ass better be up. If I'm wakey wakey eggs and bakey, if I am, sorry, you mean wakey bakey. So what happened last night? Step SWAT got home last night all jacked up about one of his investigations. He might be right for a change. You funny, so meet me at the two wells ASAP. Okay, see you soon. Max, the boss with the gun, marry me. Illegal in Oregon for now. Fuck that shit, elope. <laughs> Max, I need to see you right now. I know what happened to Rachel. Come meet me at the lighthouse when you get this, please. I'll be there. I hope she's fine. Max, thank you for being with me yesterday. I keep trying to wake up like this is a nightmare with Rachel. She never hurt anybody. No, she didn't. Chloe, I'm so sorry about everything. Dude, how do we go over this shit? Um, get over shit like this. We live, Rachel. We want you to have a great life. That's truly the best revenge. Now we really do have to take over the world. No, we just have to be there for each other. You're a saint, Max. Uh, yo, Mass Max, check this shit out. I had a little talk with Step Hero uh, tonight. I'm all eyes. Since my bust, since he busted Jefferson, he's totally a different person. He's been very cool and apologised for his behaviour. That's so sweet, Chloe. Now you're a family again. Well, damn, sister, I did not cry in his arms, but he helped find Rachel and punish her killers. David obviously hella cares about my mum and probably me. Yes, I am hella bored with nothing to do. What you um, doing, hippie? Some of us hippies have homework. No shit, Sherlock. And I already did my paperwork for Bay City College. I'm proud of you. I hope so. Chloe, I won the Everyday Heroes contest. Sorry. Holy shit, you rule, Max. I'm so proud of my superstar. This is just the start of your career. I'm just glad I can share it with you. Damn right. Plus, Max, you deserve a win. No emoji. <laughs> Let's check all these other ones out. Max, Max, Max. Snap, snap, snap. I'm working on a new cheer for you. Tony, that is awesome. I'm blushing. That's because you're on fire, girl. What about Kate? Is she alright? That's loads. Hey, Max, you around? Always. You okay? Did you want to go to uh, get tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Thanks, Max. Thanks again for helping me. No problem. That guy's an asshole. Max, thank you so much for talking to me today in class. Things have been hard this week and you showed up at the right time like an angel. You're a great friend and I'm blessed. And don't you dare laugh. Never. You almost made me cry. Kate, just know that I'm always on your side. Max, I want to thank you for giving me such great advice about going to the police and telling them everything about Nathan. I so appreciate you standing by me. Uh, keeps my faith. Kate, I'm on your side. Please don't mention me too much. If you can, I'm really in trouble around here. Thanks so much for talking to me this morning. I was about to have a serious cry. I needed a friend. Oh my god, Max, I can't believe that Nathan Jefferson got arrested. Honestly, I'm in shock. I have to go talk to the police now and give a full statement. Please let me know if you need me there. We'll have to. We'll have your back. Thank you. I'm scared, but I want to make both sure both of them are put away and never hurt anybody again. 
Max, I heard that you won the contest and it made me so happy. Your photos are so real and wonderful. It gives me hope that you're going to um, be discovered. Thank you, Kate. You give me hope by being my friend. Don't be so humble. Take a bow. I expect a full report over high tea soon. That is a date. Um, loads of loads and loads. I'm just reading it all just in case any of it's changed with the events. Happy, ooh. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't have 18 years old since you were brought to us. Hi, honey. Your principal sent me an email saying that he's concerned about your attitude and behavior. That you're not fitting in well behind hiding in your dorm. And that's, yeah, that's the same. Hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant. Uh, Maxine, are you there? Are you okay? I just heard on the news about this art teacher you were always talking about. What is going on? Black mum, I'm fine. Too much texting. It's crazy. I'll call you later. Promise. Hate you being away like this. Don't keep me waiting. I won't. Maxine, we are so proud and proud, proud. Thank you. You know, we always believed in you and your photos. Of course you did. That's why I'm at Blackwell. All right, Victoria. Hi, Hall. Hope you enjoyed the pick in your last... It's your last one. No fucking way. You should have won the EH contest. I bet you blackmailed Miss uh, Jefferson. You should have used that photo you took of me covered in paint. That's what an everyday hero does, right? Victoria, I'm sorry. That's the past now. Thanks, Gandhi, but I'm still going to make your life hell. I think I might just start... Um, Warren's from here because I was reading it all but I think it's all the same alright Max Jefferson what the fuck insane right did you ever suspect him of what he just seemed like a cool teacher I thought you kind of crushed on him sorry you should be I admired his work not anymore fuck him he's history yes he is do I have to make an appointment to see you now oh please but yes you do <laughs> it's so cool that you won thanks Warren it feels weird ok alright that'll do Still got. Yeah. That was quite a read. Um, it's going to be look at that picture. It's going to be the only way to go back. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to talk to other people, but. Did she take that? Oh shit! Oh my head! What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. She's back there. Oh, fuck. God, no. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shutter. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. 
You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please. Don't do this. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. Kick him. At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please. Or something I can do. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? Ah. Oh, I was trying to warn him. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? <laughs> Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. Is there something I can do? Other than warning? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? It's like, there's nothing else I can do. Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? Okay. I can't... I don't... I don't... I can't see anything else I can do over the morning. Unless... David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Oh. 
Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> let's not do that there then. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Let's go right back. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I, can I please ask you for oh, one you last go. request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Some fluoride, some water, one last picture. Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I... I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you finally learned from me. Oh, I'll play some music. Give me a moment. <laughs> it's like in this episode. Uh, oh, yeah, that is completely burnt. Um, yeah. Whale on fire? Tornado? I promise. Okay, so that was just what I needed to do to get that. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Um, it promise. turns... If he no puts Moose on, he probably won't be able to Wait, hear David coming. Hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? She still sent oh, a text message because she did that. You got me, Max. Yeah, she still sent the text message because she did that before she handed in the picture. Um, Could he please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. It's a nice treat. Now I'm a little bit crazy. Out of my mind, I go and slide, please, straight in the head. It's all a little bit hazy. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stay screwy instead. And I'm a little bit cuckoo, gaga. Hold it! What? No way, Jefferson. Ah. Oh. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stay screwy instead, and I'm a little bit cuckoo. Hold it! What? Forget it. Oh. So that. Hmm. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I, can I please ask? Some water. Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Ah, he's moved that now. She can kick it when he goes to pick it up. I imagine if you turn the lights out, she ends up getting shot or something. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Oops. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Or something then. Need to stop me. Grab that bottle. 
David Madsen, you are... Over. You are not going to stop me. That's it. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. <gasps> he won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson? Now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. Okay, this is just incredible. Um, Joyce. Max, have you seen Chloe? She's not here and she won't answer her phone. If you're with her, please tell me, then I can leave you alone. At least let me know if you're getting these messages. Please, Max. You know what happened to Nathan? Just tell me if you called the fucking cops on him. Stay out of my shit. Alright. Uh, here we are. Yo, yo, where are you, Max? Well, seriously, just tell me to piss off. Max, now I'm worried. I'm leaving the party to find you. Sorry. And where am I with these? So, a whale... With something coming out of it, probably like melting away, or yeah. Oh whatever. God, it's a studio. Uh, Jefferson looks so oops pathetic now. <sighs> Keep skipping things like that. It's really annoying. David Madsen is on the case. He's still looking for evidence. David, are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was going to kill me. You got here just in time. I'm glad. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Kate was bullied up to that roof, but it was still Nathan and Jefferson who put her there. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel, and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I should have told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and, and almost used it. I put the school in danger. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. 
I had all the high-tech toys, well, you had each other. Um... We... We are a great team. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. Or kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she? She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. <laughs> so where is Chloe? David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you, are you sure? Are you? Yes, I, I saw her. I, I saw a... Jefferson Killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Oh dear. I have to go back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe. I'm sorry. Joyce. I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. I guess he doesn't really need to know if I can save Chloe. I said it will let me rewind time. I haven't even gone to the bag to check on that picture yet. I will. Cool. All right, let's go back. Let's not let's not have that in that way, shall we? I kind of wish you could go back to just the right moment.
I don't want him ending up going to jail or prison or anything. Okay. No. Try again. Jefferson was. I'm glad. I always suspect. Um, I don't want to say you suspected everybody because that's. Oh no, this is. You kind say. of suspected everybody. Yes, and this is what I get for wasting all those hours on the Prescotts. I set my sights too wide. Lack of focus. I know the feeling. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging and Max. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long. Jefferson already Same. did. That pervert was pulling all this shit. No, I should have told. We all make decisions. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. You both had a tough start. I know it wasn't easy. I'm not gonna make any. I tried to be a good fop. I was pissed off and wanted to rage. Yeah. I know the feeling. Too much. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong. I try not to. All right, let's not tell him the truth. I just want to see her. So, where is... Hide the truth. David, um... Well, she was pretty stressed out, so... Um, she went to go... Um, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. For once I'm happy, Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air and use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. I think that's better. <laughs> I think a little white lie there is, because uh, hopefully we're going to be able to save Chloe anyway. Teacher. Let's see Just what looking at that there. makes me want to vomit. All over this computer. I know he's not crying. He's Just looking at his computer. You're right. <sighs> I want to burn all these photos. I hate looking at me like that. The cops are getting you in one piece. Damn. Jefferson torched everything. Now the only photo I can get is the one Warren took. I knew that was going to come in handy at some point. Can we just, like, kick him in the head? I'm glad that freak is tied up, but I still feel like I'm in shock. I would time up a bit more than that. All this expensive gear just for sick bullshit. No more fucking guns. So gross. I wonder if he charged that duct tape to Blackwell. Scumbag. Every song you hear in jail will be torture. You'll never be free again. Frank isn't a bad person, but he can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. Oh, Chloe, I'm going to save you for the last time. God damn you. There's no way I'm leaving your necklace here. Ah, oh, Rachel. You won't be going, Jefferson. To any more shows. How could anybody... No one would have looked for Nathan's body with this. Looks like Jefferson was planning a major security renovation with Prescott cash. Was that one there? No one would look. No for. one would have looked for Nathan's body with this. Oh, one-way ticket. Oh, okay. So Nathan is dead, apparently. We haven't seen the body yet. Nobody Jefferson's work the same. It's Jefferson. All right. Okay. I think I'm ready to move on. 
Is there anything else in this room? Very quickly. Jefferson had plenty of women who would have totally posed you for him. Gonna fry for this. But he didn't want to give his subjects a choice. No, I don't want to leave the dark room. I want. Have I got the picture from Warren? Where is it then? Must be. No. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? It was. There. Okay, I'm assuming that will just. As soon as I get out there, that will uh, prompt me to do that. So I'm going to end this one here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm, I think I'm just going to play through this whole episode right to the end now because I'm just totally gripped. I don't want to stop playing. So uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching and uh, take care of yourselves. And uh, have a good one. Bye.